high of the storm, as many as 78,000 people were without power. Some may still be in the dark at this point tonight. Alexa Helwig got a look at the damage in some local neighborhoods. She joins us now live from Springfield Township. Alexa, what are you seeing? Whoa, pretty dramatic behind you there. Yeah, Kyle, well, I've been talking with people all day and they just describe last night's storm as very scary and the damage shows as obviously you can see right behind me. We'll show it to you right now. This is a huge tree that has just been sitting in the road, blocking the road here in Springfield Township all day. And it's just one of several areas in Hamilton County that have seen dev devastation. We've lived here since 75. And we've never had this kind of damage, never. It was a rude awakening for Wakona Motts this morning. Her yard in Coleraine Township took a beating. There are two of our trees that are down. Two of them are badly damaged. That one damaged some. There's 12 trees down or partially down over in the woods next to us. And two of their trees are in my yard. The strong and gusty winds from last night's storm uprooted her apple tree. This one even blocks her from leaving the driveway. This is the worst. I mean, the very worst. Down the street in Coleraine Township, this house is missing part of its roof. Chrissy Heeg spent her afternoon picking up the debris. She compares the sound of last night's storm to a train. It got to the point where the rain was so bad and the wind was so bad that you couldn't see outside of the house. Like normally you could see the neighbor's house, but you couldn't see anything. It was just basically a wall of gray. In Mount Healthy, a power line is leaning over Hamilton Avenue today. Many businesses are closed because there was still no power. Debris covers the streets in town and storefronts have distinct damage. It destroyed our backyard, took out like eight trees, but our house wasn't touched. Jennifer Cunningham's house in Springfield Township was spared, but she says her pool was filled with water last night. Now it's empty with a downed tree inside. So much devastation for such a short period of time that that lasted. And it came on out of nowhere and within 30 minutes you had all this devastation. And we're back here in Springfield Township. This is Ranch Hill Drive. It's been quite an attraction today. Neighbors and people have been walking up and down just to see this tree that's blocking the road and other damage. It's uh, it's taking some time it's time for crews to get it out of the road. No word yet on when they will get this tree out of off of Ranch Hill Drive. But as I'm talking to people and asking them what's next, they say they're just going to take the cleanup process day by day. We're live in Springfield Township. Alexa Helwig, Local 12 News. All right, Alexa, thank you so much.